And it's just not about the headlines. It's about the conversations we have, the connections we make, and the impact we create. Your insights matter, your questions matter, and your energy matters. So whether you're in traffic, having breakfast, or starting your workday, I'll be right here, keeping you informed and engaged. So Lagos, stay tuned, set your alarms, and mark your calendars, and let's kickstart our mornings together, right here on The Morning Crossfire, on 99.3 Nigeria Info, and Kofi Bartels, let's talk. Live from the heart of Victoria Island, you're listening to your number one station, 99.3 Nigeria Info. This is Morning Crossfire on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Uh, good to have you join us this morning on the Morning Crossfire um, as we take our major conversation. Like I said earlier, uh, we'll be talking about Nigeria's um, economic management team. We have a number of economic teams, um, but um, I, I like to refer to all of them as the economic management team, even though uh, we have what we call the um, the economic uh, presidential economic coordinating council, which is headed. Uh, uh, by Mr. President. We'd like to hear from you. We can take your WhatsApp calls, WhatsApp voice notes. We can take your WhatsApp messages. Um, we can also um, take your calls on the numbers we usually advertise. The phone number 0201 uh, uh, We can take those calls as well. Um, on X, we're at Nigeria Info FM. Uh, on X, we're at Nigerian for FM. On Facebook, you can also drop your comments on the posts we have on X and then on Facebook as well. Uh, Facebook uh, address being facebook.com uh, forward slash Nigerian for Nigeria Space Info uh, Space 99.3. Uh, Nigeria Space Info uh, Space 99.3. Uh, I'd like to say a very good morning to our guest. Um, he is um, a financial engineer, he's an investment banking executive, um, he is a, a development economist. And he is a volunteer uh, change agent. I think he told me that last time we were uh, with him. I had him on my program. Nemeka um, Onyeka Obiareri is our guest. Mr. Obiareri, good morning to you. Uh, good morning, yes. my brother. Thanks for having me. Thank you very much for joining us at short notice. And we appreciate your time as always. Um, I want to start by asking you um, um, for your thoughts, uh, generally speaking, uh, on the new uh, emergency economic team that Mr. President uh, has put together. Um, the Tino administration appears not to be slowing down on revamping the economy, it seems. Um, and of course, the government uh, some 10 months ago kicked the ground running or hit the ground running, focusing on policies meant to propel you know, economic growth for uh, Nigeria um, and uh, increase the, the GDP growth rate. And last Wednesday, the president announced an overhaul of that economic governance architecture in order to ease, you know, uh, the financial hardship and boost productivity, you know, in Nigeria. And then he went on to establish what is called a multi-layered framework to bolster coordination, planning, and implementation. It's a lot. It's a lot, sir. So this is called Economic Management Team uh, Emergency Task Force. What is this, as far as you're concerned, uh, Mr. Berry? If you, if you desire my sincere and honest opinion, yeah. I will tell you that what they are doing is what we call convoluted confusion. Convoluted confusion because what they are trying to do is just grappling on all straws. You don't need to be setting up all this manner of this and that. And look at the names of those on that list. These are the same set of people that we have been recycling over the last nine years. These guys, look at that team. They were in various economic team under whatever guys and the name. You know, the problem we have in this country is that we assume that, oh, once well, somebody is very fortunate or somebody is a billionaire, he has common wisdom on how to do governance. But look at developed economies like the U.S. If being a billionaire is the reason why somebody should be part of a governance team, why is it that the Society of American President have not appointed Mark Zuckerberg, uh, uh, um, Elon Musk, Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, as part of their economic team. Look around you. There is a reason why capitalist states or economists shield their economic management team from the vagaries of those who claim who are operators in the system. So they don't run with privileged information to manipulate the system. Here in Nigeria, we are repeating the same mistake. 
Proverbs, the good book says in Proverbs chapter 25, verse 5, surround the king with wise, and right, surround the king with wicked men, and the king will rule wickedly, even if the king is a righteous man. But if you surround the king, conversely, if you surround the king with wise men, with honest and sincere men, skillful men, knowledgeable men, the king will rule wisely and productively. Joseph was a 30-year-old boy, a slave, who was appointed prime minister. Mm-hmm. And he did mighty things, working for eight years, making Egypt the greatest economy in the whole world. The same thing, young men, Daniel Shedrach, Mishak, and Abadnego, yeah. they weren't professors, they weren't billionaires, they weren't men of repute, but they were picked by the wise kings who understood their importance and their skills. See, in Nigeria, we need to stop playing politics and face the act of governance. I'll give you an example. Look at the current minister for defense. Mm-hmm. It is alleged that he was given rise. Not have, have not yet. It's alleged that he was given rise to bandits, you know, just to placate them, Ramadan or whatever. In this country, we know of one chief minister that was able to decimate Boko Haram so much that was an uproar. As you became in the former chief minister is still alive. A government that is very serious about fighting insurgency, a government that is very serious about destroying a uh, armor of criminal will have appointed an Azibike Ejidika as the Minister for Defense. He is a former service chief. He understands the mentality of these guys. He was reported to be one of the chief administrators that dealt them a heavy blow. Such should be putting around peg in round, in, in round holes. But you appointed a career politician who has allegedly been hobnobbing with these guys. How do you expect him to decimate them? And that is the fact that we should be facing. We need to put round pens in round hole. Take, for example, the Minister for Agriculture, who is planning to repeat the same mistake that was done under the Buhari regime, trying to import 10,000 tractors with $1.1 billion. When common sense entails, if they are very sincere and honest, and they are serving Nigeria and serving Mr. President well, we have contacted several Chinese companies that are willing to set up um, tractor and bulldozer assembly plants in Nigeria, and that should have been the focus. Under a private public plant management set up, bring them set up assembly plants in Nigeria. It makes the food cheaper. It also transfers technology and skills to our people. You can actually bring in the same number, bring in about 8,809 bulldozers and tractors. Mm. Bulldozers and tractors, too. Yeah. And, and all in cost of $750 million, which is far less than what they are projected. Mm. To be able to cultivate at least 50 to 30 million hectares of land across the 8,800 electoral award. The problem we have in Nigeria is that the cabinet and all these things are filled with all manner of career politicians, all manner of human beings who are willing to manipulate the system for their own selfish end. They do not put patriotism, right. they do not put sincerity wow. in their works. Mr. Let's Barry, go do the right thing. Yeah. We don't need these big names to fix Nigeria. We need honest, skillful, all right. Patriotic, sincere Nigerians like Daniel Shedrach, Mishak, and Abadnego. Interesting, Mr. Barry, you've talked about this. Uh, There's a a gentleman I know, um, he he is a a known businessman in River State who, who, you know, started a a tractor um, uh, manufacturing plant in in Nigeria. In fact, he's even moved his company as well to Ghana to go and look for business. You know, he, he produces tractors here in this country. He's moved his company to Ghana to go and look for additional business. He's somebody that could have helped, you know, in such a manner. You've said it all. We can we can get these tractors uh, without spending one billion US dollars, which can actually help in building a tractor factory in the country. Um, um but but do you know? Because it's a bit confusing for for some of some people out there. Can you help us understand what the difference is between the earlier um, economic management team that Mr. President had, had that, that was composed of fourteen people? You know, 14 individuals. And um, what's the difference between that? And then this new one, which is the um, uh, Economic Management Team Emergency Task Force. Um, and then also, what's the difference between all of that? And then the one that the president is heading, which is the 31 man Presidential Economic Coordinating or Coordination Council. What, what are the differences between all these layers of. Um, of See, uh, let me uh, tell you, I've, I've explained to you before. What you are experiencing is what we call convoluted confusion. Yeah. There is no see. We don't need all this, all these distractions and all these, this and that. You know, I feel sorry for even Mr. President Timson. You know, I've quoted the scripture before, over 55. Remember that Mr. President is not omniscient. I'm not witness 
wouldn't pray for him because he's the one that appointed his advisors. He's the one that appointed the men that he surrounded himself with. Mr. President is not omniscient. He does not know everything. If you surround yourself with wise people, they will not be giving you all this matter of advice. See, we don't need all this. These are distractions. These are evidence of confusion, and we don't need it. I also go back to the scripture. Ahab was not a very wicked man. Ahab was a very weak man. But Ahab surrounded himself with wicked, lying prophets mm. who were busy lying to him, deceiving him, telling him what they wanted him to hear. The only good man, the only honest man, the prophet Micaiah, Ahab does not consult him. At the end of the day, he did not listen to Micaiah, who told him the truth. And he continued in that confusion until he lost his way. Hmm. We don't need all this convoluted, what, by whatever... Are, are, you, are you saying these, these individuals are, are going to be bad advisors to the president? I mean, we have Alaji Ali Kodangote, Mr. Tony Limulu. Uh, uh, my brother, uh, 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 us, my, my, my brother they, have you forgotten? See, see, you know, the truth you know, the truth you say, the truth you apply will help you. Okay. Go and check the list of advisors that Buhari put together. Have you forgotten that Buhari did the same thing? Why do we make a mistake? You repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse. Go and check the team now. What is the difference? The same set of people. If their wisdom was so uncanny, was so wise, how come Buhari failed that atrociously? Well, uh, Dr. Dr. Barry, it, it, would it, sorry, would it, would it be um, because maybe Buhari was not taking the advice? Um, because these, these gentlemen are, are top industry people. You know, I, have, I, have, I have asked you this question. Why do you think the Americans... You, have you, did you ever see that Trump put up a team and he invited Mike Zuckerberg, no. he invited Bill Gates, he invited Warren Buffett? Trump had an eco wife. economic uh, um, uh, a management team as well. He had industry advisors with him. They are different things altogether. Okay, let me ask you a question. Why do you have a cabinet in place? Why do you have special advisors? If you need this so-called wise men that have been advising, uh, that have been part of the system since 1999, See, let me tell you, there is something that we don't understand here. These guys are interest stakeholders. This guy, let me tell you, as a different a, a capitalist who is not your lover. A capitalist is not like an, a, a social investor. A capitalist, a capitalist, if you put him into a system, we always want to see how he can manipulate that system for his own own, the whip of dollar. And that is the truth. If we want to fix this country, see, realistically, some of us, most of us, my people have claimed to be Christians and Muslims. Mm. Go and look at the story of Joseph and Yusuf. Muslims call him Yusuf. Christians call him Joseph. He wasn't a billionaire. He wasn't whatever. He was a wise young man who understood visions and how to interpret visions and how to execute visions. The book did not okay. begin to look for professors and billionaires, those good billionaires in, in, in Babylon. He sought for the wisdom of four Hebrew slaves who, are, who have who demonstrated on common skill and knowledge, and they helped him to build a global empire. That is what we should be see. Let us not deceive ourselves. Who of these names that you are you, you have part of the problems? The area we understand this thing, I gave, I gave you a typical example. In a very sincere government and sincere cycle, somebody like Azubiki Hedjika. Jara Asubike Jika, to be the minister for defense. But, 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 yeah, but, 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 I, I asked you a question, uh, I made a point, you know, to, you know, but you, you, you didn't really actually respond to it, that Donald Trump had what he call an economic advisory council, um, that, that worked with him as president. Sir, even before, before he became president, during his campaign, those advisors were there with him as well. You have the likes of, um, I'm trying to remember a pro prominent name, uh, Peter Navarro. Uh, he's a, a business professor at uh, UC Irvine. He was there. Um, and I, and I, yeah. I mentioned certain names to you. Yeah. Was Mark Zuckerberg there? No, but Jeff Bezos was there. Jeff Bezos, Jeff Bezos was. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I want to ask you. Amazon and Bridge. We, we are the part of his economic, what economic team. And I actually, let me tell you, and again, is the economy of America, has it been tanking or improving over a period of time. I say the same people we are part of the Buhari team now. Have you forgotten? The same guys were there under Buhari. Are you telling me that Buhari did not listen to them? Okay, people will listen to them. 
guys, uh, let us let us face facts. While I respect some of these men, respect for what they've accomplished in their own respective right, but governance, patriotism, sincerity, and honesty, skills, and knowledge is what we need in Nigeria. What Nigeria needs now at this our period of their needs, we need men like Joseph. We need men like Shadrach, Meshach, Daniel, and Abednego. We no. don't need men like Haman, who are filled with all manner of ego and gold in their back. And that is the truth. And this truth we know, and this truth we must accept, this truth we must apply if we want to fix this country. And I've just given you an example. All right. In a country that is fighting insurgency, militancy, unknown government on every corner, if we are very, very sincere, we will be looking like men like Asbiki Minister for Defense. Or else we are those other names. If you don't even like his name. And that is the truth. Okay. So, I, I, I give another example now. You, did you not read about the minister for whatever, whatever, that went to sign an MOU with a, 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 a rail company that was incorporated three years ago that have never done any rail project just to deceive Nigeria. If we want to do rail projects, we have the biggest rail operator in the whole world. It's a Deutsche Bahn. It's a German company right. that has 340,000 workers. If we are very, very sincere, those are the kind of people that we can approach. And we have been talking to them. We have even incorporated an SPV, Rail Track LLC, Rail Track right. Limited. Okay. What was the whole idea? $6.5 billion. If we want to do 10,000 rail tracks in Nigeria over the next 50 years, that will cost about $4.48 billion. Hmm. We can easily design it. Execute and implement it under a PPP framework. All right. monies will come. Right. But these guys are not sincere. They will do. They will. They will. So, they, so, will they, they will fish up. They will do everything possible so, to see what they can do to so, Canada. So, so, so you are telling me that a man like Tony Lumelu cannot because what what the, what the economic emergency economic management team emergency task force as it's called is meant to do is to formulate and implement a consolidated emergency economic plan. That one is an emergency. That's something for now. Not not a long term, because I know we have national plans. My, so my, are, are you telling me, sir, that uh, uh, Tony Lumenu is not, my is not brother, qualified my, enough? My, my brother, my brother, I don't, I don't address individuals. I address systems. And no, I'm no, but, but individuals make systems. Let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me tell you this. What is the emergency? The two emergencies we have in the we have deep-rooted corruption in the system. And we have insecurity. You don't need this man. If you want to fix the insecurity that will allow our people to go back to work and bring productivity, what you need to enhance the security framework of Nigeria. And to enhance the security framework of Nigeria, you bring the security experts who understand every integrity of it. We don't need this team to fix the security. I'll give you an example. Today, I was listening to one man in Casina who said they are trying to use local vigilante to chase away the bandits. If you want to destroy the bandits in Nigeria in six months, I'll tell you what to do. Very simple. We have 8,809 electoral ward. Ask each of the communities within every electoral ward. And the community people, not the politicians, will select 100 of their sons. Every community knows the good, the bad, and ugly. They will pick 100 of their sons. We will have 800,000 plus new military men, send them to the military school, train them, put them back to their communities, give them AK-49, provide them with drones and communication gadgets, give them four armored personnel carrier and the mounted, uh, uh, machine gun mounted trucks produced by innocent, not of, of, of pro force. For those in the river areas, give them uh, amphibious vessels. I will tell you this, pay them well, one fifty thousand each of them. I tell you this, in less than six months, these guys will go into the forest, they will go into the bushes, they will go into every corner of their land. They will wipe out these bandits. They will clean their land. People will go back to work. Our oil and gas, gas assets will be protected, right. and there will be no concrete or stealing. Right. So this thing requires any billionaire to advise you to do this. Okay. All right. Uh, um, uh, we'll, we'll come back, Mr. Uh, Ray. I want to give you indulgence to please maybe stay with us so we can take a commercial because we want our guests, our uh, listeners, to be asking some questions. Is that okay? I'm okay, I'm here. All right, we'll be right back. Let's pay our bills. Um, when we come back, we'll look at the, 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 the task ahead of these uh, 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 um, uh, gentlemen and these committees, uh, these teams, because there are three of their three levels, um, and they will try and set the agenda for them. We'll be right back. So the morning cross for us, stay with us. This is an infomercial. An infomercial. 
Have you ever dreamed of creating videos that captivate and inspire? Are you in search of that perfect space where your visual ideas can flourish? Or perhaps you're on the lookout for a venue that will add a touch of magic to your events? Look no further. At We Entertainment Production Limited, we are not just a media production company. We are your gateway to bringing visions to life. Nestled in the heart of Lake Lagos, we offer an oasis for creators like you. Whether it's TV or film production, events coverage that captures every memorable moment, commercial that resonate, breathtaking music videos, the artistry of photography, or content that engages. We have it all. Plus, with our state-of-the-art studio rentals, you're equipped with professional-grade gear from the get-go. At We Entertainment Production Limited, we believe in doing beautiful things. This is our promise to you. Get in touch today. Call us at 0908-826-5049. 0908-826-5049. Or email info at web.ng. That is, in capital letters, info at wep.ng. We Entertainment Production Limited, where beautiful things happen. All right, well, welcome back. Uh, we'll take another commercial um, after that message. And uh, our guest is with us, uh, uh, Dr. Nameka Obiariri is our guest. And um, we'll be talking about um, the agenda that these um, uh, teams should have. Um, but your comments are welcome. I can see a few of them. Um, this one reads... Um, I volunteer myself to be part of the president's emergency team in Genewa. All right, I don't know. It's already been informed. Too late. Too late. <laughs> uh, no one here says, uh, okay, this is not considered what we're talking about. Okay, please keep your messages coming through, and I'll post them to our guest. Uh, he's eminently uh, qualified to speak on economic issues, and then he'll tell us what he thinks after this break. Stay with us. Every parent wants to see their child growing up happy and healthy. Introducing Renzo Vitamins for Kids, a secret to your child's daily nutrition and boundless joy. With Renzo Vitamins, your child will have the energy to embrace every moment and unlock their full potential. Give your child a head start in life with Renzo Vitamins for Kids, because a happy child is a healthy child. If you wanna study abroad with ease, oh, e class day for you, no doubt. If you wanna study abroad with ease, oh, e class day for you, no doubt. My brother, my sister, don't come with a better opportunity for you where one go, but don't you go for education with shaking the money with that wahala. A class limited, don't land the but to carry you go UK, Ireland, Canada, and USA to bring down your dream. Come pass it. A class limited, go do all your people. Come summer, you work permit after you don't finish your school. Carry body go meet A class limited. The Lagos office day for 299. I can look by this rate of Idaho Martins, Victoria Island, Lagos. Tell you where them on 081 Seven 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 eight nine. Also for Sweet Sixteen, Ogba Shopping Arcade, Ogba Ekeja Lagos. Telephone zero eight one one six one seven 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 eight seven. Dot beleyo beleyo dot eclass dot com for them website. Eclass Limited. Na dem be baba. Papa Lamla, good morning, no. Oh. Good morning, sir. Ah, ah, Mama T, Fifi, mm. you're visiting us today. Yes, yes sir. So Fifi needs to braid her hair, and you know, no one does it better than Janet. <laughs> She's inside, but mm -hmm. Janet is not feeling well right now. She has tetanus infection, and the very painful part is the doctor said it could have been avoided if she had received her booster vaccines on time. That's very true. There is even HPV vaccine for girls of her age between 9 to 14 years old. Uncle Alon, even you, there are vaccines for adults like COVID, hepatitis, yellow fever. It's okay, that's enough. <sighs> eh, but Baba Landlord, she's right. You should not play with vaccinations. It is very risky not to be taking vaccines and boosters, especially for you who is diabetic, or Janet, who is a young girl. <laughs> Follow who no road, though. All vaccines are safe for both children and adults. Visit a health facility to find out which vaccines you need, or call 7722 for more information. 
He done upgrading himself. James, I hello. Susan, I beg. <laughs> Say the wine, Mimi. For where? You who no longer depend solely on your salary. So you people trade and don't carry us along in this office, Abby. Jerry, now you they talk like this. Who doesn't want an extra stream of income? But I'm still looking for better trading conditions, I beg. Fast execution of my trades and possibly an account where swap. No go carry all my profits where I don't know. Guy, hfm.com. For me, I wouldn't mind better spreads at all. And it won't be a bad idea to be able to make withdrawals in a flash. All we want is transparency and great customer service. Guys, I said hfm.com. Which, Which one is, is hfm.com HFM. again? again? Switch to hfm today to enjoy ultra fast execution. One to two thousand leverage, tight spreads, swap free, and more. Guy, show us the way now. Wait, oh, are you sure? Deposits and withdrawals are sharp, sharp. I said hfm.com. <laughs> Visit www.hfm.com. HFM, online trading at its finest. Adron Homes don't make life better for you and me. With the better Easter package. Adron Easter better, better life offer. offer. Yes, so time don't come where you and me go become landlord. With Adron Easter better life offer, you go enjoy 30 to 40% discount on any land where you buy this season. With as low as 50,000 naira to 3 million naira initial deposit and spread balance between 24 to 36 months. No be holy that all. You go enjoy many boku boku gifts like turkey, bag of rice, washing machine, smart TV, big cow, and many more. Sense and condition day all. Our estate day for Lagos, Ogun, Oshun, Ekiti, Oyo, Abuja, Nasarawa, Niger, and Joss. You fit also subscribe for daily payment plan. For more story, call this number 080 or 080 Homes. Building cities, communities, and homes. Every morning, no better chance to carry your hustle go higher level. So, make you start your day with the correct taste of Nescafe. Start strong, finish strong. Nescafe. Now we're back on the morning crossfire. This is Morning Crossfire on 99.3 Nigeria Info. All right, welcome back. We can take your calls now. All the numbers we usually advertise, um, uh, 0201-465-7190. Well, the, um, the main line, 0700-993-993-993 is not available for now due to circumstances beyond our control. But you can call 0201-465-7190. Your thoughts are welcome. Our guest uh, this morning has said, um, uh, you know, he doesn't really believe there's a need for uh, these, uh, the plethora of economic management teams and and uh, we have uh, three different levels, three different teams all brought together under one with uh, Mr. President uh, heading it. Um, he's saying that it's not necessary. Um, uh, the main issues need to be s- worked out. Um, he's also said that, you know, the, uh, uh, the systemic issues and problems that Nigeria faces will not allow such a team to do its work. Um, he's gone biblical this morning and has quoted the Bible, you know. Uh, but Mr. Mr. Barry, I will say to you, and um, that Bible says in the multitude of counselors there's safety. <laughs> Are you there, sir? I'm here. Yeah, Bible says in the multitude of counselors there's safety. Yes, in the multitude of good counsels. Bible call it counsels. Mm. Counsels means wisdom. Let us interpret the Bible very well. They have had four hundred lying prophets, only one, a good counselor, Micaiah, and he did not listen to him and he never got back. Mm. All right. Okay, all right. And you've also said that some of these individuals were part of Buhari's economic uh, advisory team, um, mm. and nothing came out. Um, uh, you know, it could be argued that Buhari didn't listen to them. But um, you've also said that um, they they are part of the problem with the country. They may not really have the solution. But Mr. President needs uh, Mr. Buhari. He needs advisors. He needs people because you look at the National Economic Council. Um, it's made of oh, we lost him. Okay, we will try to get back to our guest. Uh, unfortunately, we lost the call, so we'll try and get back to him. As soon as we do that, we'll put him on the air. Um, I was going to ask him, it could be argued that, um, who should who should Mr. President appoint then, you know, into his uh, economic team? Who should he have as economic advisors? I was going to ask. Okay. Um, sorry, please, bear with us while we try to get back to uh, our guest. Uh, on WhatsApp, um, this message message says, uh, "Okay, I'm gonna skip this one." <laughs> oh my God! 
Okay. All right. Hello. Good morning. Are you there, sir? Hello. Are you there? Okay. We'll wait for um, uh, a call screener to put Mr. Biari back with us. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Welcome. Who do we have on the line, please? My name is Godwin, calling you from Songwater. Godwin, welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Please, uh, we've had the man saying he has spoken well, but uh, if everything should go by the biblical injunction, I believe so many things too will not have been done. So let's do things physical. What we see, let's do it. So enough of the quotation from the Bible. Let's face the reality on ground. Mm. What he speaking from the your studio, they are all wherever. Yeah. What is his own advice? I, I didn't really get any advice from him. Mm. It's just like criticizing but, the government, past government. But if he knows this is the solution, what is his own? Let me say it on yeah, air. Yeah. Let the whole public hear. Let's know. We're, try, we're trying to get it, back to you. give suggestion. Mm. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your time. Do you agree that um, uh, nothing good can come out of these set of advices? Hello, good morning. Yeah, welcome. Yeah, welcome. Welcome, Jonathan. Well, um, I think um, the man is very intelligent and spoken very well. The truth of the matter is this. He keep on emphasizing those names as in the What are the things? And for people, all of us call on this knowledge. We are nobody. We are just one daddy in Nigeria. We speak knowledge. We speak knowledge. The problem of this country is not far fetched as far as I'm concerned. We don't need to set up this set up that set up. All of us know. On the street, you know what we are facing. Sinubu cannot tell me he doesn't know the problem of this country. He doesn't know how to fix it. Mm. People, of course, ordinary us call every day and we'll provide a solution. Apa. All right. Apa. All right. Good morning. Thank you very much. Um, 99.3, good morning. Good morning, Kofi Bata. You're welcome. Name and contribution, please. Pastor Ladipo, calling from Sari Gomo. Pastor Ladipo, welcome. You see, that man is on point, and I think he's even offering solution as he's as he's analyzing. If the truth is this, you don't need all this plenty economic uh, team. In fact, because most of them go and check their antecedents now, they are the one that uh, indirectly put us in this. Some of them there, go and check their products. How can we assess their products? And all of that. So, the truth is this. Let the right thing be done. We like duplicating people's job. You have appointed ministers. You have pamphlets. You have all these people. Yet, yeah, you have an economic team. It is well, you know, right. God save this nation. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, Dr. Anna Mekobiari, can you hear me, please? I can hear you loud and clear. Fantastic, sir. So, so who should Mr. President appoint as uh, economic advisors? You've talked about here, Jerika, as security um, uh, defense minister, or maybe even NSC. Who should he appoint as uh, economic advisors? Um, like I, I explained to you, Nigeria is not lacking in wise people, in honest and sincere people. That will, if the president is actually sincere about setting up an, an advisory team, People like Aki Wumi Adesina should be in the team. People like Ngozi Okonji Wala should be like in the team. People like Mobilaji Johnson should be in the team. People like um, um, Arun Mote should be in the team. People like Obia Etekwasi should be in the team. People like Aminu. We, we know those who serve Nigeria and serve Nigeria well. Have you bothered to ask yourself, the, under this government, we have two ministers who are blazing the trail. The ICT minister. Is doing excellently well. The interior affairs minister Ojo is doing well. These guys are not billionaires. These guys are not former governors or former this or former that. But you could see that these two ministries, you could see the kind of things they are doing. And that is the we have millions of Nigerians out there who are white, who are not who are not even willing to play dirty politics. But, but we, not willing to. But we have we have uh, Charles Solodo, former CBN governor there. <laughs> Charles Solido is the governor of Anambra State. Charles should concentrate in governing Anambra State and delivering dividends of democracy. At least let his stellar work speak in Anambra first before we start talking about going to Abuja. Uh, okay. Um, um, so you've given us that. What now? The, the, the team is in place. Um, that's the, the team is already in place. Uh, but, but before, before I... Like, like, like I said, the team is already in place. Yeah. <laughs> you have also had a team of 400 people in place. So the team was in place. Okay. The Oshifat still asked him. I'm not sure of this thing. Don't you find the big thing?
several times All right. before he reluctantly agreed to invite right. Mikhail. Right. And yet he never did what. So let me tell you, history always has a way of repeating itself. And I tell you the truth, 80% of those in Mr. President cabinet, with all due respect, have no business being there. We just want to play to political correctness and to fulfill political quotas. Nigeria is not devoid of smart, honest, intelligent, patriotic individuals that can help this fix this country. This country is a paradise, so a paradise flowing with milk and honey. All we need is to fix the leadership. And when we talk about leadership, people look at Mr. President, with all due respect, is not omniscient. I always say it is not omnipresent. He cannot be able to be everywhere at every time. But if we are unfortunate, and of course, if most of these appointments are finished, it's not the one that he has to put advice in, put this name, put this one, put this one. Those people should be very sincere and honest with him. If you love a man and you sincerely claim loyalty to the man, you must have to be honest. I bought, I bought. Obama just said something. He said there were people around him that he loved so much, people like Obi and Sekwesi, who could look him eyeball to eyeball and argue with him and tell him the truth. They were in his best of friends, but they were people who were willing to risk people like Dora Konyele. So we have Nigerians that can do this job but, but, and do it well. But he, and it's yeah, but but but, but, not there. but he removed he removed Obi um, 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 oh, um, what's the name again Obi from uh, her ministry and put her in another ministry. Um, of education, oh, 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 he removed oh, 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 Ngozi, Ngozi from Minister of Finance and put her somewhere else before he left. But, but, <laughs> but it's, it's on record that Oluchegun Obasanjo built one of the most prosperous era in Nigeria since 1999. You can't take that away from him. All right, uh, uh, Doc, stay with me. Uh, there's a caller on WhatsApp trying to, to waiting for his turn. Let me, let me just go there. I'll come back to you shortly, sir. Uh, hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. This is uh, Lofela from Mifo. Good to hear from you. Your contribution. The, the man has talked very well. I'm really enjoying him. You no, know, he, he spoke with passion. And one thing with us in Nigeria is that uh, those people that love Nigeria, we should listen to the advice. You know, that man, the defense uh, uh, general that he, I mentioned his name, they, they can assist the other man there so that this book of the team. They can they, they can eliminate them. And moreover, the economic team you mentioned uh, uh, the additional and uh, uh, they are they are the wonderful people. So we should we should come together and make Nigeria great. We should come together and make Nigeria great. The Mr. President should not look at the party people alone. He should invite people that are very uh, you know very good. And that can make uh, that can move Nigeria for even the for no. sector. Thank I think you. we should have declared. Uh, okay, thank you. Thank Mr. you so Kobe. much. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate calling you. Okay, Doctor Barry, I was saying uh, that the team is already in place. So I want you to tell me what you think the, the focus should be. Uh, for instance, we hear um, that the um, uh, emergency e e uh, task force, that's the economic management team, emergency task force, is meant to uh, formulate and implement. Uh, a consolidated emergency economic plan. Um, that should be something of a short-term plan. Um, we hear that um, the, the mandate is to submit a comprehensive plan of economic interventions for this year, 2024, to the Presidential Economic Coordinating Council. All right, Covering the next six months, what can government do to intervene for the next six months as an emergency stopgap measure? You know, immediate implementation. We want to start it within the next two weeks. You know, uh, after its inauguration. So, what should the emergency economic task force? Uh, what should they give the president as? You know, what should the let focus me, be? Let me tell you this: eh? we know the problem of this country, and I will list it in in two minutes. I will give you solutions. You don't need all this committee. Emergency, um, um, stop gap, not long term. Emergency, listen. Emergency. Things we can do in one month. Things we can do in one month. Very simple. Our two major problems is corruption and insecurity. And corruption and insecurity are the two most affected by the constitutional, physical deformities and the fraudulent institutions we have in Nigeria. How do we fix those foundations? Mr. President is very influential. The governors listen to him, national assembly members listen to him. Go and bring out our problem is constitutional. Between 1960 and 1960s, we had a productive economy that was so secured. Pick the 1960s constitution. And let you just bring it out, flesh it up. Turn the leaders from four to six. We already have four, six leaders. Let them be the constituent federating units. 
Take it to the National Assembly. Bust mm. it up. Mm. Bust it as the new cousin of Nigeria. They can do it in one week. Dr. Rory, these, these things are things you are saying that may, some may say would take a long term, if not medium term, uh, measures. No, they are not long term. So, so can, you, can, 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 you, can, you, can you can you can you can you can you end corruption in Nigeria in six months? Can you change the restructure of Nigeria in six months? Very easy, very very easy fixing. Who says? Who are the people that drive corruption? It's rubbish. Can I ask you a question today? Assuming you are a liar, you decide to say I'm not going to lie. Let me put it to life. You tell me, it is it, 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 the decision they have to make if they are sincere. Let me tell you, there is no emergency action or plan or whatever that can be. The Bible says if the, if the foundation is faulty, the right of we do nothing, and that's the truth. We have a criminal foundation that, breeds, that naturally breeds criminality, a foundation that throws out the worst of us over the best of us. Thank you, Mr. Assembly. Get a cambio and campus. Mobilize the members. Check with this security with it. Pass it into the new law of Nigeria. Which to be to take effect by twenty twenty seven. That is number one foundation. And then number two, devote the security architecture of Nigeria immediately. Under a unique and if we do this, let me tell you, if we fix the foundation of this Nigeria, physical federalism in place. Constant units control 50% of your resources. Pay 30% at 20% to the federal government. Remove most of the things there is Let me tell you what will happen. Sanfora is a bed of things. Do you know why? There is gold. It's already alleged that most of the troubles are chilling and everything. It's linked to gold. Then you hand over and then shall the gold resources to the people and they know it is their source of revenue. And you give hand over security to them. They will run around they will protect their assets, they will protect their wives and children. But as long as we continue to operate this criminal and fraudulent constitution that was not agreed to by the people, that brings criminality and iniquity, they don't stop deceiving ourselves. The foundation is faulty. If a house has a faulty foundation, if you like, build space on top of it, you're wasting your time. All right. But Mr. 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 Mary, so you is saying end corruption... Uh, change the constitution to uh, divulge powers or divulge powers to the states. Um, then also um, uh, also give them the power to control their resources and then the power to control their security. Um, sir, fine. But some will say that short term measures, six months uh, within the, to be implemented, inter- implemented within the next six months, that they need to submit two weeks after the inauguration. Um, that these things are things that will take time, consultation, negotiation. Uh, discussion, um, um, then going by National Assembly and all that, um, looking at stakeholders, geopolitical organizations, all over, everybody wants to have a say. Um, that they want, Nigerians need to eat, want to have food in their mouth and to afford the basic necessities of life, that these things won't help them. That constitution will not bring back down the price of Gary. That new constitution uh, will, uh, or corruption ending will not bring down the price uh, of um, yam in the market. Or will not make the naira stronger. So, so are there other? I mean, what do you say to that argument? First of all, and I, then I, I, are there other microeconomic been, and macroeconomic I, measures you want? I to have see? A, I have explained to you sincerely and honestly, like Prophet Nikaya, what needs to be done. You cannot force words out of my mouth. You know, Nikaya said when they slapped him, he said, "Okay, since you think that my idea and the advice is not what it is, go and do your own." And we know what the outcome is. There's no emergency solution that can solve our problem rather than fixing the foundation. If Nigerians have been patient so far to this level, and this is I told you, and this is I mentioned, there is a unanimity, there is a unanimity of opinion in Nigeria. We can fix these things under three months if we are sincere. All right, all right, interesting. Let, let's take some thoughts uh, from those of you out. Thank you, Dr. Barry. We'll stay with us, sir, um, while we take some of uh, uh, the views of our listeners uh, listening from Lagos and around uh, the world. Okay, we seem to Hello? Be oh, hello, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Coffee. Okay, we seem to have Good morning to, to your guest as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, I'm uh, Mrs. Oboli calling from Mikorodu. Welcome. If you feel an um, evident proof won't happen in six months, at least there will be trails and signs of a total overhaul 
in that industry, in that sector, even if you feel it's not going to be achievable in six months. With what this man has said this morning, honestly, I'm impressed with his analysis. And I feel even if we don't holistically see something improve in that six months, there will be traces and signs of improvement if we heed to what he has been saying. So let's, let's even start. When we start, not to gather a, a company of billionaires and say, okay, they want to come and overhaul the system. Their pockets, bags, and everywhere is filled already. Let's look for green homes that are hungry, that are hungry and thirsty in this industry that can fine-tune it to give us a, a better society, a better um, economic sector. Not people that are filled or they are, they are not hungry for, 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 for improvement. Or We've been recycling these people for a very long time. Enough is enough, please. Thanks and God right. bless. Thank you very much for your time. Good to hear from you. Um, uh, 99.3, good morning. Lost your call there. 99.3, good morning. Very good morning to you, my brother. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Please go on. Yeah, thank you very much. My name is D.A. Akibo. To be honest, the list, the men on this list, they can't help us. Some of them are the problems, are the causes of the problems that we are having today. Some of them have benefited from tax waivers at the expense of the masses. Some of them have enjoyed um, customs, customs and duty waivers at different times, running into billions at the expense of the masses. So bringing such people on board will not help at all. The fact that you succeeded as a businessman does not necessarily make you a technocrat, particularly in our system, that has always abused the system. So they cannot help. Let them bring technocrats. The name this man has mentioned. All right. They are, they are really there to help us. Thank instead you. Of this name. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. All right. 99.3, good morning. Yeah, Kofi Bata. Oh, sorry about that. Yes, go on listening to you. And then. Okay. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Okay, let me be making my points because I cannot hear you, but let me be making my point. You see, um, we want to get this, our economy back. We need to do one or two things. I love your guest. He's speaking positively and he's inviting. Yeah, um, one or two things must be done. One, we must, our leaders, Politicians must stop lies and deceit. Then they will be focused, more focused on what they are doing or what they are, their plans out. We need actions. Actions speak to other than words. All right, thank you. you. See, people like Chemole, they're thank not you. supposed to be in any public office. Thank you very much. We, we have to go for a commercial break. I'm sorry, I'm trying to let you land. We'll be right back and then we, we talk about This it. is an infomercial. An infomercial. Book your flights on the Access More app and get 20,000 Naira for shopping. Valid from March the 27th to April the 10th, 2024. Terms and conditions apply. All right, I want to say uh, thanks to our guest. Um, a final word from you before we go, Dr. Biari. Before we go, final word from you. Doc, are you there, please? Can you hear me? I'm here. I'm okay. here. Yes. Yeah, what's, what's your final message to the federal government regarding this issue? Just a, a mop-up. Uh, coming from you? Um, my candid advice is that we should quit politics and political correctness and start governing. Mr. President should start fighting those who are not leveraging well or who are manipulating the system for their own gain. I'll give you two examples. The minister that wanted to deceive Mr. President by signing a MOU with a rail operator who does not have any experience by now should have no business being a minister by now. <laughs> the one that wants to repeat the same mistake of Buhari government of importing 10,000 tractors at $1.1 billion should right. I now not have any business in that cabinet. All right. the president has, let me tell you, yeah. I am not holding brief for him. All right. Nigeria is already in a very, he's not the one that created the problem. We are sitting on a very serious problem created under the 80s of Buhari regime. And of course, people will say, okay, he's part of that. He may be part of the party, but he wasn't the leader. Mm -hmm. Now he's the leader. Nigeria needs emergency solutions, All and right. you need skillful people All right. like Joseph, like Shedrach, like Thank Ishak, you. like Abalada to help. Thank you, you very much. We should look for them. Thank you, Pastor, Pastor, Doctor, uh, and uh, Meko Yeko Biari. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs> Thank you, for having Thank you me very much. much. All right, and talk to you soon. Appreciate your time. Let's go for the next break. I'll come back and then we'll round off. Please stay with us.
More news and information coming up. We'll be back in a moment. That's your 99.3 Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info 99.3. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates as it happens. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's